so this is a problem. Um, well, it's what, what, ma what makes this a little bit different is the way that it's worded, and also the fact that it has a formula here that may look a little bit less familiar to you. Um, so, before we do anything, um, I want to say a few things about this formula that's here. Um, the other way of writing this formula, in a couple of different ways, one way would be um, to do something like this. It's an NCR. Um, let's first do this. We're going to write it in terms of R. And then I'll talk about what this means and how to interpret it. N minus R um, factorial times R factorial P to the R Q to the N minus R. Um, the other way of looking at this formula is to see it as N C R and P to the R. And I see that it says Q, but you can also say that it's just simply 1 minus P to the N minus R. Um, and then finally, the third way of representing this formula is to recognize that there are really one, two, three um, values, being the N, the R, and then P, the probability. So what this formula is equivalent to is binomial PDF. Um, and it's the number of trials, so that's going to be N, the probability of a success, P, and then the number of successes we're interested in, and that's going to be R. Um, so this somewhat complicated formula that we see over here is really the same thing as binomial PDF, here. So and you can um, look at that last um, variable as being either an R or an X, but it represents the number of successes. And so you may see this in a previous lecture. Um, so now what we do know about interpreting this is that um, we use this when we want to know the probability of some number of successes given some number of, tri of trials in where the probability of any one success is P. So the probability of a success, let's say that someone is shooting free throws and they have a 92, let's say a 92 percent chance of being successful in any one free throw and then let's say that they're going to make um, 10 attempts at shooting a free throw. The probability of being successful on ex um, exactly two of those would look like this. So that's how we would use binomial PDF. There's some number of trials or attempts, probability of a success on any one given trial, and then um, the number of successes that we wish to have an answer for. Um, we want to determine the probability of having exactly that many successes. So that's how we use that formula. Um, so for this problem, there are, uh, in this case, it's 65 trials. What that means, similar to 65 free throws is 65 trials, um, and what they're calling a success is out of those 65, you successfully find the uh, a bad one. So the probability of a success or successfully finding a bad one is 0 0.02. Um, and then what they're interested in is what's the probability of finding 
zero bat tablets or one bat tablet. Um, so that's going to be um, the sum of these two. So that's binome PDF, binome PDF, and you're using those values. Um, don't forget that you could also use binomial CDF to do the work for you there, where it does the sum. You just have to tell it um, the number of trials, probability of a success, um, and then where you wish to stop counting from. So this it will always start from zero and then stop at this particular number here. So if you try that, either binome CDF or binome PDF twice using a zero and a one, um, you should get the answer that we see here.